blessings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today in this video, I want to share a clip of famous Pakistani Muslim scholar Javed Ghamadi, where he is ex talking about the superiority of Christians, the power and authority of Christians in the whole world over all other nations. So that is, and this verse he is trying to describe that verse is forcing Muslims to become a Christian and that is also my favorite verse of Quran which is causing Muslims to become Christian which is forcing Muslims to become Christian the correct translation of that verse is forcing Muslims to become Christian that I was I want to share with you and the clip of this famous Pakistani Muslim scholar yes in this uh, clip as you can see the title of the uh, video somebody asked this Muslim scholar that Jews are controlling the world and in response he said no not Jews but Christians they have power they have authority they are the rulers of the world and no one can take away their rulership their authority their power their superiority as per Quran 355 and why this is my favorite verse of the Quran because in this one verse the essence of the whole good news the gospel is there yes there are four main points in this verse the first point is the death of Jesus with the true correct translation and the second point is Jesus raised up that is his resurrection and the third point is those who are following him which means those who are believing this they are superior over all to all yes and I remember when I used to say this some uh, any Muslim asked me that no 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 we are actually the followers of Christ and I asked that gentleman that not even Muhammad was a follower of Christ how you can become a follower of Christ I am going to tell you so those Muslims who think that they are the followers of Christ listen to this Muslim scholar and l remember what I have just said and the fourth point in this verse is the judgment those who differ this judgment will come upon them what they differ if they differ the death of Jesus the resurrection of Jesus Jesus and the superiority of Christians there are many Muslims who want to fight against Christians you are actually fighting against Allah and Quran 355 because no one can take away the victory from us so don't try to mess with us don't try to fight with us in any field don't try to defeat us even if you try to defeat us in any field you are actually trying to defeat Allah and Quran 355 because Allah has designated victory and superiority till the judgment day to the Christians the followers of Christ why because we only believe in the death and resurrection of Jesus not you if you want to take that superiority power and authority you have to believe in the death and resurrection of Jesus yes so this is my prayer for this Muslim scholar who is trying to do a correct translation of Quran that may the spirit of truth set him free the Javed Ghamadi who is talking about the victory and superiority of Christians as per Quran 355 and I just want to highlight this word superior folk in Arabic the correct translation of Quran 355 is liberating Muslims and they are turning to Christ why from where Allah and Quran 355 got this idea about the superiority power and authority of Christians 
from Matthew chapter 16 verse 14 to 18 yes they got this knowledge from the gospel from the holy bible that is why Allah said clear your doubts from holy bible from Christians yes what is Matthew chapter 16 14 talking about at the time of Jesus when Jesus was present at this earth different nations people were having different views about Jesus which were not true about Jesus same is in this age people are having different views about Jesus without truth so who is having the truth his disciples that is what Jesus is talking about in this verse Jesus asked his disciple, what do you think about myself, who I am? Then Peter said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. This is the secret key. My Muslim friends, my Muslim brother and sister, this is the secret key. This is the confession, the knowledge and acknowledgement about Christ, the true knowledge about Christ, which can bring you in that zone where you are going to feel superior, powerful, and authoritative. What Jesus promised with Peter, that this truth has revealed from my Father to you. And I promise you that upon this rock, upon Peter, I will build my church the church is built on this confession, on this admission that Jesus is the son of living God. Church is based, church came into being on this knowledge, acknowledgement and recognition of Jesus and confession and admission. And what is the promise of Jesus about that church? The gates of Hades will not overcome it. That is the verse, that is the reference, that is the context from where Allah got this idea and knowledge that Christians are superior. Christians, they have knowledge. They are, they have power and authority. And that is what you can see in the whole world. And no one can take away this power authority from us. Don't even think about that. But if you want to come and join this kingdom of power, authority and truth. If you want to become superior, then you have to confess this. That Christ, you are the son of living God. This is the secret of the power and authority of Christians. The power of hate, the power of hell, the power of darkness cannot rule us. This is our superiority. And how you can join this kingdom? You have to become a disciple of Jesus. After knowing the true knowledge and acknowledgement of Lord Jesus Christ, after confessing that you are the Son of Living God, you have to take baptism in the name of Son and the Father and of the Holy Spirit. And at the end, I want to play the clip of this Muslim scholar who is talking about this superiority, power and authority of Christians over all. This is in Pakistani language. Pakistani, Indian and Bangladeshi people can understand it. But the essence of this video, I have already explained to my English viewers. So please watch this. And is there any Muslim who wants to liberate him or herself today with the power of the truth, with the power of the spirit of truth? Lord bless you all. Listen to this clip. Amen.
دیکھیے یہ جو چیز ہے نا فلاں کی پالیسی فلاں کی مرحوم منت ہے فلاں فلاں جگہ پہ اثر و رسوخ رکھتا ہے اس کے نتیجے میں دنیا کا اقتدار نہیں مل جاتا دنیا کا اقتدار اس وقت مسیحی اقوام کے پاس ہے یعنی اگر کوئی کسی کی پالیسیوں پر بھی اثر انداز ہو رہا ہے تو جس کی پالیسیوں پر اثر انداز ہو رہا ہے اسی لیے ہو رہا ہے کہ اقتدار اس کے پاس ہے حکومت اس کے پاس ہے دنیا کی طاقت اس کے پاس ہے تو باقی ساری چیزیں جو ہیں وہ اصل میں ٹول اور ذریعہ بن جاتی ہیں جس سے وہ اقتدار قائم ہوتا ہے قائم رہتا ہے تو یہود کی حیثیت اس سے مختلف نہیں ہے ان کی جو ایک چھوٹی سی ریاست قائم ہے وہ بھی اسی بنیاد پر قائم ہے یہ بات اللہ تعالیٰ نے واضح کر دی ہے کہ جب حضرت مسیح علیہ السلام کو اللہ تعالیٰ نے دنیا سے اٹھایا تو یہ اعلان کیا کہ اب جائر الزی نتب کا فوق الزی نہ کفر الا یوم القیامہ قیامت کے دن تک مسیح کے ماننے والے تمہارے اوپر غلبہ رکھیں اور یہ غلبہ جس دن سے وہ رخصت ہوئے ہیں اس وقت سے